Well, let's broaden this discussion further. I'm joined by Professor Jeffrey Mfalele. He's the Vice President for Research at the South African Medical Research Council in uh, Pretoria. Uh, Professor Mfalele, thank you for joining us. Even with the rich countries appearing to soften their position on patent waivers of the COVID-19 vaccines, it is still not an immediate solution uh, for Africa. How is Africa addressing its vaccine shortfall? Uh, thanks for having me. Um, so it's true uh, that it's not an uh, immediate solution uh, because uh, if you look at um, the numbers alone in terms of um, the need for vaccines, um, Africa set uh, the target of uh, vaccinating at least 10% uh, of its population uh, by September 2021. And uh, this required at least uh, 225 million doses uh, of the vaccines. And uh, as we speak, uh, only 32 million doses have been used. And this translates to, you know, um, 9.4 million uh, people fully vaccinated and the rest just uh, received uh, one dose of the vaccine. Uh, so clearly to address uh, the, sh the, the short term uh, needs uh, in terms of the vaccines, um, I think uh, Africa should um, seize every uh, opportunity. What we have seen at G7, um, over the weekend. Uh, we need to see more of those uh, actions uh, where rich countries are able to donate uh, vaccines to uh, poorer countries, uh, not just Africa, but uh, obviously other uh, developing nations. Uh, we also want to see more bilateral uh, negotiations with any country that is able to manufacture vaccines, uh, because we need to have vaccines as soon as possible. Uh, so that would be the short term. You know, the likes of China, um, which have got um, um, uh, two vaccines already uh, approved for emergency use uh, by the World Health Organization, uh, Sinovac and Sinopharm. Uh, these vaccines are there to expand the pool uh, available. Uh, so in addition to contribution to a uh, COVAX facility, I think, um, you know, African countries uh, can engage in uh, bilateral uh, discussions with countries like China, Russia and any other country that is uh, able to bring the vaccines uh, to the market as soon as possible. So, how uh, so those are some of the things that uh, Africa can do. All right, yeah, but let's talk a bit about uh, the rising number of cases uh, on the continent. How can African countries, though, deal with the rising numbers of cases and deaths on the continent? Yeah, so that one requires uh, a different approach uh, because uh, you need to cap uh, the number of rising cases and uh, you can do it by vaccination uh, but obviously vaccination will be uh, like uh, a medi medium term uh, solution in this case uh, and i think that um, we should not really forget the use of the basics um, the non-pharmaceutical intervention uh, social uh, distancing and things like that so these are the basics that we have um, 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 uh, at our disposal and we should encourage to use them uh, because uh, if we don't, people will think that uh, they don't work. And the only thing that works uh, is the vaccine. And we also know that uh, even with the vaccine, um, there is a possibility that you can get infected uh, despite uh, you know, getting vaccinated. The only uh, thing is that if you are vaccinated, the outcome of infection or breakthrough infection uh, is um, supposed to be uh, very mild. Uh, or moderate. Uh, we don't expect um, people who are vaccinated after infection uh, to end up in the hospital or to die from infection, uh, even though there might be a few of these cases. And then the most important thing uh, is really uh, to now take advantage uh, of uh, our manufacturing capacity, uh, because we have been talking about uh, rich countries waiving uh, IP and also sharing the know-how and the recipe of making the vaccines. Uh, but clearly, we're not going to see this um, in the next you know, three to six months. Uh, they will take time, and um, this will be um, like you know, a medium-term uh, solution uh, Africa should look into uh, to make sure that um, if we have got another pandemic, uh, we are able to have our own manufacturing capacity and we can respond uh, to the pandemic. 